Conan, what is best in life? To crush your enemies, see them driven before you, and to hear the lamentation of the women. That is good. That is good. Hello, welcome to Wahoo Warrior. This will be a 2200-point battle report between my my dwarves and the Warriors of Chaos list, run by my buddy Alan. Uh, he's not very familiar with Warriors of Chaos. He's faced him a few times. Uh, we made up a 2200-point list and thought we'd give it a go. You may notice my new battle mat. I'm very happy about that. I think it really puts a lot of pop to my table. If I can just get some of my terrain pieces done, uh, really upgrade it. But uh, for a quick and easy... Uh, upgrade to the gaming experience. I'm very happy with this mat. Uh, I've seen it in one of uh, Mr. Malorian, I believe, battle reports against an opponent that he played, and I had to have one, so I got one. So there it is. Uh, yeah, I'm going to a tournament, uh, one day, three game tournament in Kansas City at a local game store. I uh, met some, one of the players up here when he's at the Bug Eater GT, and i uh, been talking to him on YouTube and asked him to keep me updated so I'm going to drive down there it's about a three to three and a half hour drive play three matches and come home looking forward to it so trying to get a 2200 point dwarf list together that is viable with the addition uh, of I only have so many models painted up uh, I have a couple other ideas of how I like to run dwarves but I gotta use what I have so here's what I've come up with and uh, after this battle I may, may do some changes but this is what I've got. I'm going to go over my opponent's list first, and that is, he's got, this is after vanguards, and he's got the unit, the war dogs there, and uh, the wolf riders in the middle represent hell striders as Slanesh, and uh, it's not a very good deployment for them, but that's what he did. Um, and then uh, I'll go over his list a little bit more here, a little closer, but he's got, uh, starting from the left, he has uh the Warriors of Chaos, uh, Warriors of Corn with two hand weapons and a banner. Uh, lots of attacks. Frenzy, of course. And then in the more in the center, he's got uh, Nurgle with Halberd. And uh, he's got a BSB in there, the model on the left. He's got three Juggernauts and then a Demon Prince, all kitted out in Demon Prince fashion with Nurgle. Uh, the, all, the plus one to hit, sword, the... Charm Shield, Dragon Bane Gem, all kinds of crap. And then that uh, Rock Thrower represents a Hell Cannon. And then he's got four Chaos Ogres with a Champion. And additional hand weapons. Probably in retrospect would switch those to great weapons. But uh, nice little unit that packs some punch. And there's his Vanguard units, Dogs, and the Hell Striders there, and Dogs. Uh, this is after Vanguard. So I was kind of surprised he brought the Hellstriders up there. But here's my deployment. I've got my uh, Slayers on the left just kind of pointing in to try to uh, screen off my War Machines. Uh, I've got a Cannon with the Rune of Forging and Fire. I've got a Flame Cannon with the Rune of Forging. Ten, those are Quarlers. I have them proxy with Rifles. And then an Organ Gun with the Rune of Accuracy. And my Quarlers have Shields. And I've got 16 Iron Drakes in the front there with nothing else. Uh, I've got my Iron Breakers behind there. I think 19, but i got two characters in there. A BSB and a Runesmith with a Dispel Scroll Times 2. And uh, I've got another unit of Quarrelers there with Shield. And this is my Unruined Cannon on the far right corner. So I'm all kind of stuck here. I'm using this tower for my... Uh, defensive uh, measuring here. And this is just a front view of my line. My plan here was to basically uh, use that tower uh, to my advantage of making him work his way around it. But, uh, you know, it's also, if you're not used to using buildings, it can be a little bit of a, of a distraction So, to your battle lines. Uh, here's just a couple of the pictures of my forces. Uh, the Slayers, you know, I love the Slayer model, so I threw ten Slayers in there. Uh, I want to see what they can do. Uh, just using them as a screen, kind of. He wins first turn, even though I'm plus one. And he moves his dogs up. Uh, he moves his everybody up, pretty much. Uh, he's got his dogs on the left there, trying to just kind of counter antics with my with gyrocopter. Uh, 
his demon prints. He cannot be seen by the cannon in the far right corner with that building. So he really doesn't have much fear of uh, the cannon with the flaming rune and uh, the iron drakes. The org other organ gun, he's got enough of a cover there because uh, I don't believe dragon prints are large targets. He'll get a plus two cover save against the organ gun. So he just kind of flies him up into that spot there. The iron or the skull crushers, you know, then move up the uh, there. So uh, for spells, uh, the demon prince has purple sun, uh, like caress. He's got the doom and darkness, and he's, he's and uh, another sniper spell. So I'm kind of afraid that he's going to target one purple sun and then two the. So he, he does fire a small purple sun. He was aiming, trying to get the organ gun more than anything and put it through the, some iron breakers and stuff. Uh, he just kind of sends it, and I'm pretty sure you can do this through your own units. He sends it through, kills two dogs, but they don't panic. Uh, he hit one of the hell striders, but it didn't, uh, it passed its initiative, but it dropped short. Um, which actually, I was, after he moved like this, I was going to charge the dogs with the iron drakes. I, I was just like, I might just charge them. But with that there, you can't voluntarily move through it. So, kind of kind of ended that. He does try to uh, caress uh, my organ gun. And he uh, did another spell to my organ gun. But I, I survived one, and then I... Uh, the 2D6 one, I ended, I killed that with my e spell eater. So on my combat, or my turn, uh, I move my uh, great weapon guys into the into the tower, mainly just planning to move them out again. Uh, fire a flame cannon and my cannons at the skull crushers uh, and my iron drakes. And uh, sadly, I only uh, do two wounds. I don't drop them a base. Uh, well, not the Iron Drakes. The Iron Drakes actually, uh, my crossbows killed that unit of three dogs left, and my Iron Drakes obliterated the Hellstriders. So they are no longer a threat. I, I hate those things. He should have been f running them full speed around the, s around the corner, but, again, he doesn't play Warriors of Chaos very often. My copter just flies over the top, marches, and drops a bomb on the dogs, and doesn't kill any of them. So I cleared the, all the chaff out of the middle here. Uh, but, you know, takes some of my very expensive shooting in my flame cannon. I, I put it across those, uh, had all three of those skull crushers. And on the three up to wound, I rolled two not wounds. And then he four up armor saved the other one. So I didn't do any wounds with the flame cannon. So that's all organ gun. And uh, me, yeah, I think it's all organ gun. So there's that. Uh, I do hit that uh, hell cannon with the flamed up the flaming room cannon and but I don't kill it I do three wounds to it uh, doesn't really didn't really have a very good shot on anything else at the time uh, I do uh, he, on his turn he charges me and I stand and shoot and I'm able to drop that at base between last round of shooting and this round of shooting and uh, he fails his charge so that's nice the skull crushers, however, charge the iron drakes in the middle, and I stand and shoot, and I'm able to drop that other base, which is huge because that's a that's a lot of extra attack. So I drop that base. He's only got two coming into me there, and uh, I have the, the my BSB is behind this unit, and they have the he has the 12 inch uh, stubborn banner. Now when I deployed like this originally. <coughs> Excuse me. I thought I'd be able to shoot and maybe shoot two rounds. Should probably have the rune of slowness on my iron breakers, but I wanted the flame cannon and the organ gun and etc. etc. But I was, I, I was thinking I would flee some charges and flee through my my iron drakes or my iron breakers. Uh, that was my original thinking. <coughs> now I have to readdress that without a rune to move or slow down things, it probably, it's not really the best uh, idea in the world, because otherwise you don't, e or either a vanguard up, shoot, and then shoot and fall back, but anyway, so, uh, his demon prince comes flying over here, 
and he uh, he sets himself up. <coughs> he's going all or nothing here because he set himself up for a couple things. Uh, one, he's got no cover, <coughs> and two, that cannon on the far right can see him. So he's going for a six dice large purple sun, and uh, getting that off. Well, 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 pretty much almost win him the game. I've got my 30 warriors up in there, but uh, in the tower they'll be. But he sets that there. And his plan is to drive it over the top, and he fails to get the spell off. He does not get enough for the casting. <coughs> Excuse me. With his dogs being there like that too, my slayers can see them barely. I can charge the dogs and wheel enough so I can get about four of my guys in base contact. And I can overrun and get into the side of the demon prince. I'll probably never kill him, but I'm unbreakable, and I might tie him up for a couple of rounds. That's my thinking at that time. He comes charging in here and kills uh, what six, five iron breakers. Uh, you know, I've got a four up armor save, which becomes a six up, and then I have that six up ward save, and I don't do any wounds to him. So he wins that combat, but I'm stubborn. Now here's my uh, I charge the dogs on my turn and he flees so I redirect and I pass that and then I roll snake eyes so I'm really kind of in disbelief at that but then after I failed it I, I would have passed on a three by the way and after I failed it I thought whoa what am I doing if I would have if the dogs would have held it would work but I'm like I'm glad I failed that because I've got my one and only chance to eliminate that guy is with the cannonball and this is my shot. So I move those warriors out of the building. I move the the quarrelers into the building. I know that if those halberds charge them, he will chop me apart. But I can't deal with those halberds right now unless I get them worn down. Uh, they will hack their way through any of my stuff. So I turn my uh, iron breakers a little to the side. I still keep the skull crushers at this point in my front. But I'm thinking he might make a couple long bomb charges, and I was wanting to, if he overruns with the stuff or whatnot, I want to be able to counter it. So there's my failed charge. Uh, so I basically, uh, you know, that iron, that that demon prince is so badass. He could eat all this stuff over here. Uh, I could hold him up for a turn, maybe. But I have a cannonball shot, so I take it. I, and he had already used his charm shield on a miscast. So that's kind of a huge. I didn't have to put any other shots into him. I fire the, the cannonball. It hits him. Does D6 wounds. And it only does two. So I'm like, uh-oh. And uh, then my organ gun unloads on him. And I'm able to get past his armor save and, what, five up ward. And be able to drop him. So that's humongous. I breathe a huge sigh of relief. I uh, had flown my gyro over here. I know it's going to get charged by those dogs, but I need to whittle these guys down desperately or they will just hack their way through stuff. So I'm able to kill a few uh, of those guys. That I think that's not just the gyro. I don't even know if the gyro killed anybody. Oh, the gyro killed one, and I think maybe some coilers killed two more. And over here, he kills some more iron drakes, and I'm still stubborn with the banner. Uh, right behind him and I'm still unable to put any wounds on him so they're just kind of they're an expensive unit to hold up stuff but I mean they're they're holding that's what they need to do on his turn he charges the building with the halberds uh, that's okay and yeah, I'm okay with that because you know if he occupies the building he can't charge out of it so, uh, we had, before we charge a building, we discussed we're using many of the tournaments around here. Use a rule if you fail uh, to take a tower or, or a building, that when you are repulsed back, you can reform however you want. That keeps you from being stuck on a building for like three turns. So we'd already discussed that. He charges his ogres into my great weapons, and I'm okay with that. Uh, I'm trying to just get these guys in somewhere where they'll be able to take part in the combat. I mean, 
I need to help out my uh, long beards over there, or my iron breakers. And so here he hell cannon shoots my organ gun and scores a direct hit. And he ends up killing it. So that was a nice shot. Uh, no panic uh, results from anybody close by. So that would have been even worse. But uh, so he gets a little bit of uh, payback for killing his demon prince with a direct hit. And over here, uh, he didn't kill a single one of my guys that, that round. Uh, he whiffed with a lot of attacks. And I uh, made a bunch of six up six ups so that's good in, in the tower uh, combat it goes pretty much as expected he, he kills about five I mean he's got ten guys so that's 20 attacks uh, strength five with halberd so uh, I'm a I have a six up armor save with a five up parry because you do get a five up parry every round of a new combat so every time the assaults have a 5 up here and I'm stubborn because that banner's within 12 and I'm also in a building so steadfast so uh, live, live for another day I'm able to kill those chaos uh, ogres or the, actually send, send the champion running and I had reformed backwards facing the other way so on this turn I move my rapid movement of 6 inches come around the side of the building so now, if I remove some casualties, even just one more Iron Drake, I think I'll be able to get the side of those uh, Skull Crushers. And I need those Iron Drakes to last one more turn because I totally turn my Iron Drakes sideways. So I'm giving the flank if those guys fail. And this is my turn now. So I also move my Quarrelers up to basically bait a charge from the from the corn warriors uh, with the plan to I'll, probably, I'll be stubborn within 12 of the banner and then I can counter charge those guys with my slayers so uh, double teaming that unit I might be able to eliminate it uh, my flame cannon in this game I really don't have very good angles of firing because of all the combat so close uh, I do kill off that hell cannon with uh, took two cannonball shots to do it. The first one I hit and I rolled a one to wound, and the second one I hit and I was able to eliminate it. So the hell cannon is deceased, and then uh, you know Travis tragedy happens over here and he kills all six. He's been killing like one or two a turn since the initial charge and he rolls crazy I don't make a single save and his stomp actually his two stomps finish off the last guy so I have none so it's his turn and I've got my flank sitting right there so no shield parry and his massive charge even with two guys can be bad he charges the quarrelers here <coughs> I had I had shot them, I think that's the only target I had was them with the flame cannon and I was able to kind of like clip the side and hit two so I was able to kill uh, a couple of those guys. I'm just trying to make it a little better for my guys there. So he's got five in base contact. He charges into the side there uh, obviously he goes ahead and assaults the tower again with his halberd guys. Uh, yeah those halberd nurgle guys are you know I can't I can't beat them uh, ranked up like they are with the strength and the minus one to hit and I don't know if my opponent knows how powerful they are because you know they throw two attacks but the key is that they don't take any damage but he conquers the tower and he decides to move in there kills my last five guys so he's in there and then, uh, you know, the big combat is his charge. So he's got, uh, you know, lots of attacks. Well, here's this side first. Uh, I'm able to kill one of him, and he only killed two of me. I was, uh, he's only strength four, so my four up becomes a five. So I'm a five up, five up this round of combat. And uh, he had like 20 attacks, and I only ended up losing two guys. So, you know, 
for artillery or for a shooting unit, they guys are very resilient with shields. Uh, the copter here, that's been going on forever. I mean, I think four turns of combat, eight eight rounds of combat, they, they're basically like that. Uh, he never wounds me once, and I think I kill one dog every other game turn, and but he passes on like a leadership four, so yeah, anyway, spoiler alert, I know you're all worried about the gyrocopter. So here he comes into the side, and he rolls like crap. Uh, he kills, I think, one Iron Breaker. Uh, it was crazy. I mean, we're both weapon skill five, so he's hitting me on fours. Even just the juggernauts, that's like, what, six attacks? Uh, he whiffs with almost all and rolls some ones. So I don't do anything to him, don't wound him. And uh, I win the combat because I, he, didn't, he didn't have enough to disrupt me. So I still got my two ranks. I have a BSB and a banner. And I win the combat by one. So he loses his frenzy. He holds. And I reform to face him, making sure I got room for my great weapons to get in there. Uh, yeah, that was, a, that was a big surprise. I don't know. He just whiffed. He really just whiffed. I, you know, iron breakers are nice. A uh, three up becomes a five up armor save against the strength five, and a, I guess a six up against it. But I made some saves. He, that with no O stone in there, I was really worried about that. Uh, here, uh, both cannonballs hit the building. One rolls a six on number of hits, and I kill all six. And the other one rolls five, and I roll all five. So I kill eleven of these dudes with cannonballs when they're in the building. So, ouch. That was his, you know, these guys here the way they were can, can sweep my guys off the field. And uh, here, this is my slayers come in. He kills a couple uh, there. He kills a couple slayers. I throw my death blows. I'm using great weapons because why not? And uh, I'm, I don't think I kill any? Yeah, I don't think I killed any. Uh, so he, like, still wins the combat. Oh, there. I killed some. I actually don't know if that... I think that was two rounds of combat. Uh, but uh, he's still winning. He's throwing... My slayers are, you know, they're dying and they're throwing their death blow and the, with a great weapon. It's not bad, but... Slayers are... Eh, I don't know. They're unbreakable. The other unit was steadfast. I think he won that combat. I think he wins all the combats until I end up chopping him down to the last man. Here, I kill those guys. Uh, actually, the you know the the weapon skill five iron breakers with the strength four armor piercing. I snuck in a lot of ones and twos when he was rolling his armor saves. Able to put some wounds on him. Uh, I only put a couple wounds on him, and he flees with a wound on that base and he gets away. <clears throat> I chase with, I chased him with both units and he, he got away easily. So, you know, it's getting down towards end game and uh, this is the one thing about dwarves in a tournament. If he would have probably deployed his fast cavalry unit or, or maybe got some spells off on my war machines, if my war machines are dead, this is a part of a game where I worry about in a tournament because that Chaos Ogre, he's still alive. He rallied. He wasn't below 25%. That Skull Crusher, he's not below 25%, so he can rally. That's like no points. So I've actually, at this point in the game, the Demon Prince and maybe a unit of dogs and the Hell Cannon is the only thing that I've scored. Now, the Demon Prince is a ton of points, and he probably shouldn't have died the way he did. I'm actually going to probably take that other rune off of my other cannon so I don't have... I have cannons without flaming. So yeah, there's that guy. He's alive. Alive and well. And uh, yeah, that's the problem with dwarves in tournaments is you got to be able to clean up those points or even though you are winning you end up getting a draw or like a 12-8 win which will not win you a tournament. So he comes out of the building. Uh, I face like that and we pretty much run out of time. I kill those those guys there finally. We run out of time and it would have been six 
the six turn. So I just I should kind of show my buddy uh, how good those Nurgle guys are, and we just run a quick combat, and he kills like seven of my great weapon guys, and I kill two, I think, of his. Like that's how you kill great weapon dwarves. You just you they have no save against your strength five, and uh, so yeah. Anyway, it was a good game. Uh, you know, I call it a win, but I also call it a got to go back to the drawing board and think about it a little bit more, and uh, see what I can do as far as tailoring my list a little bit with the models I have painted or can get painted by Friday. So, thanks for watching and appreciate it. Any of your comments are more than welcome and. Uh, I will keep you posted how Saturday goes at the tournament down in Kansas City. Thanks.